Hey there, Bikeaholic. So Hardy recently flew me down to Arizona to hang out track site for a day. Preseason, king of the baggers. They were testing and tweaking the bikes. At any rate, if you want a really good inside look at king of the baggers and what it's all about, uh, check out the video I did. I will link to it in the description below and I'll put it on the end screen of this video. Anyways, while I was track site down there, there was another very exciting announcement that I was privy to at the time and you're privy to now, and that is the release of a new 135 cubic inch crate engine from Hardy Davidson. Now, I could explain it, but I definitely can't do as good a job uh, as Jason Kale did. So I'm gonna shut up and let's just uh, check out what he has to say about this new engine. So this is up to now, this has been the largest most powerful engine ever produced by Harley Davidson Motor Company in our 131 stage four crate engine, available both in twin cooled and oil cooled versions for the Milwaukee 8. But we're pleased to announce that we are launching now the 135 cubic inch crate motor. What's really exciting about the 135 is there's technology directly developed from the race team in the 135. So today we have the 131 cutaway here and the parts that have changed specific to the 135, what's gonna make the 135 different than the 131. That's achieved all on stroke. So we are launching the first four and five eighths inch stroke crankshaft for the Milwaukee 8 engine. And it maintains the same 4.310 inch bore and it's achieved all on stroke. It's a four cubic inch displacement, roughly 3%, which on normal engine performance, if you maintain similar performance, you have a 3% increase in displacement, you're gonna have a 3% increase in power. But we've been able to deliver approximately a 10% increase, both in power and torque in a street legal package available to the consumer. So if we go through part by part, a little bit what's changed, Right here we have a new 68 millimeter throttle body. So when we launched the 131, we came out with the 64 millimeter throttle body. This is a 68 millimeter throttle body. So it's opened up a little bit more. This was actually developed with the race team and it is the throttle body that we ran all of 2022 on the race bike. 68 millimeters was chosen specifically for its flow characteristics for the large V-twin engine. We tried different size throttle body, some larger, some slightly smaller than 68. And this is really the perfect characteristic that we have for this motor that feeds the performance that we need in a smooth linear fashion through the engine. Um, we've actually tried bigger throttle bodies and it cut engine performance down, including on the race engine. So when we talk about 135 performance, it's the same on the, the 131 inch race engine, which is obviously making a lot more power and torque than, than the base motor. It's mated to a CNC ported 68 millimeter throttle body. Uh, we had a 64 millimeter throttle body launched with the 131. We offered a CNC version of that. This crate motor is going to come with the CNC version. So it's been fully optimized for flow characteristics through and you get the best right off the bat with the crate engine. This is the same manifold in production form that we ran at Atlanta last year in 2022. It's the manifold that won the race at Road Atlanta, the Kyle won on. So it's pretty cool that we directly we're able to develop something for the racetrack and now offer it with our customers. What's, what's also neat, and I don't have the crankshaft up here, it was too heavy, but <laughs> when we developed the 5 8 inch stroke, we were able to keep rod length the same to simplify the manufacturing process and things at PTO. But in order to do that, we had to change the pin height within the, the piston itself. And that compressed the amount of available space for the rings. And one of the things that we learned through racing was how to maintain a really good ring seal on the bore, especially a large bore that's only held with four head nuts and has a lot of distortion and heat distortion on an air-cooled motor, it gets hot. So you can see that there's gas porting here on the top ring. And that allowed us to go from a 1.5 mil top, both of the rings, top ring and, and middle ring, and go to a one millimeter thick ring with gas porting to provide the seal that we still need for the performance characteristics, get that 10% gain and maintain full emissions compliance. Also in 2021, we launched the Screamin' Eagle cam plate and oil pump. So this is a CNC cam plate, oil pump, enhanced scavenging cap capacity for the engine that is available today as a Screamin' Eagle part, but with our premium crate engine, that's gonna come standard in the crate engine now. So you won't have the factory cam plate and oil pump, but you'll have the Screaming Eagle billet version included in your in your race, street legal, race inspired <laughs> 135 cubic inch engine. Um, another change, kind of subtle, we don't have parts up here, but we changed injector targeting. The injectors did increase to 5.5 
micrograms per second. The injector's increased targeting was modified to make sure that it was fully optimized. That's another way we could get more power, lessons learned, injector targeting over the race program, um, very clean burn, maintain emissions compliant. Um, so the larger injectors are specifically, so we're making that 10% increase in power required more fuel. So these injectors were optimized specifically for the flow rates that the engine demands. They're dual spray injectors, so there's two spray patterns associated with them. Um, the targeting is the biggest thing that we, we noticed. Um, going to a larger injector could still make the same amount of power, but now you're just using less of the injector capacity. So 5.5 was the right size for us. It still maintains a little bit. If you, if you built a race engine out of it, you could, you could get more out of the injector. Crate engine, fully assembled by the factory at our powertrain operations facility, fully inspected, leak checked, and it's a very easy change in your engine. Okay, yeah, I want one of those crate motors like right now. Also, uh, at the time, it wasn't listed yet because uh, we were under embargo, but they told us it was gonna come in at around $8,000 and comes with the Screamin' Eagle warranty. All right, popping a couple videos on the screen here for you. One is my Arizona trip. Uh, Preseason hanging out with Hardy King of the Baggers. Check it out. The other video is a complete and thorough walk around around one of the Hardy King of the Baggers bikes with an explanation of all the mods. All right, peace out. Catch you later.